Hi, my name is Maura, and this is Hannah. Hello. And I'm going to be showing her how to make a friendship bracelet. So friendship bracelets are a lot of fun. You can make designs for basically any holiday, any season, or even if you just want your name on it. So basically what makes up a friendship bracelet is that you take a bunch of different colored thread, and it's basically just four knots broken down into different techniques that you make, and each knot can make its own unique design. Um, you can choose different colors for patterns, and it's really fun and easy. It's a very simple hobby. So the first type of knot is the forward facing knot. Basically what it does is it takes the thread on the left side of the bracelet and just moves it to the right. It's very easy. Um, it's called a forward facing knot because it almost looks like the design of a four when you knot it, as you can see on the knot right here. If you take a look, it almost makes like a four between it. And basically what it does is this thread goes from the left to the right of the string that you are knotting it with. And the next knot is the backward facing knot, where it's essentially like the forward facing knot, but instead it's taking the thread from the right side and it's moving it to the left of the bracelet. Um, they're pretty much seeing those two knots with kind of more of the, ba the basic type of patterns. And the next knot is the forward backward knot where essentially what it does is you do the first loop as a forward knot and then the next knot is um, the backward knot. So what it's doing is it's keeping the thread onto the left side instead of moving it to the right of the thread that you're weaving it with. This is mostly seen once when you want to do a border with a type of knot or if you want to do um, stripes. <laughs> and the final knot is the backward forward knot where what it does is it essentially takes the backward knot first, and then you loop it with the forward knot next. So it's similar to the last one, but instead it keeps it to the right side, which is if you're doing a border on both sides. So this is usually how bracelet patterns look online. Um, it will show the different types of threads, and then it will show arrows in the middle of the knots. So it kind of just breaks it down as almost like picture-like, so you can kind of read and interpret it. So the arrow that just points to the right is a forward knot. The arrow that points to the left is a backward knot. And then the type where it kind of starts to the right and then the arrow points to the left is a forward backward knot. And then the arrow that starts turning to the left and turns to the right is a backward forward knot. And this is just an example of a simple pattern that starts is the chevron bracelet pattern where it almost looks like arrows pointing down. This is an example of when you use a forward knot and then a backward knot. So you can see where the thread starts you kind of line it up so the yellow gets paired with one of the pink to make a forward knot to bring the thread to the right of it. And the same goes for the other side, but instead you're using a backward knot until you move into the middle of it. And that's when you can join them with forward knots, which sounds a little confusing at first. So I put up a picture where you kind of see where the thread goes, so it's not just interpreting arrows and knots. You can kind of see the visual of how they look. And those are my sources in case you need any more extra examples. Do you have any questions? Yeah, how long is uh, the string usually? Typically what like the rule of thumb is, is the length of your w wingspan, I believe it's called. So basically like from your fingertips to your fingertips on the other side. That way if you run out of thread, you can always trim it instead of having to like tie more thread onto it. Okay. 
And how do you measure for the rest? So it's pretty easy if you take like a sewing measuring tape and just wrap it around your wrist. You can kind of get an idea of how many inches it has to be. And then typically for the first bracelet is when you really look at the measurement for like the inches. But then after that, I usually just take one of my older bracelets and kind of match it up to that length. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Fun cheap hobby. Yeah, sounds really fun. Thanks. And thanks for watching. <laughs>